Manly United welcomed Sydney FC to Chroma Park for the first time as round four of the PlayStation 4 National Premier League New South Wales men's one continued. But the hospitality wouldn't extend past the second minute as Scott Balderson found himself in space on the end of a McAllister cross, laying in the volley to the right-hand corner of the net for an early manly lead. Balderson was at it again in the 10th minute, taking advantage of the cruelest of deflections to nab a brace before you could blink. But they were able to regroup and get one back three minutes later, as Chris Truvella fired one low and long past the keeper. 2-1. Sydney FC back in business. The Sky Blues almost restored parity in the 18th minute. Zalouin Fofana found himself in space, but his effort bended over the crossbar. Dylan McAllister looked to turn from provided a goal scorer in the 28th minute as he fired one low to the left of the keeper but it bounced out off the post. Score remained 2-1 to Manly. Sydney FC were looking to restore parity just in front of half time. Zalouin Fafana found space down the right wing, only to be denied by a brilliant Brendan Chalakian tackle. But just two minutes after the resumption of play, Sydney FC would find the equaliser, as Christian Gonzalez would volley home a shot from the edge of the box. Sydney FC would restore parity 2-2. However, Manly United wouldn't take long to respond. In the 54th minute, Nikola Teneski crossed a ball into the 18-yard box and Dylan McAllister headed it home. Manly found themselves back in front, 3-2 over the Sky Blues. In the 69th minute, by Antonio looked to go into business for himself, and he was only denied an equaliser from a brilliant Dylan Mitchell save. Sip Umberti had the chance to put the result beyond doubt two minutes from time. However, his shot from a tight angle only just went wide at the far post. An entertaining afternoon at Cromer Park saw Manly United leave with all three points. The final score, Manly United 3, Sydney FC 2.